But uh, we'll keep this thing moving and end with our Reddit Christianity question of the week. So let me get this pulled up. Do you want to read this question? It says, why is boycotting considered to be non-Christ-like? Yeah, so there's a whole long statement there. We're not going to read yeah. any of it because it's weird and yeah, I doesn't really... make a lot of sense. He kind of yeah. goes on to like genocidal denial and weird stuff. So I'm not going to read it all. It's Just a bizarre. question is enough. The question's all I cared about yeah. because it's an interesting one. And it's uh, something that I have heard a handful of times. I don't know how often. I thought, you know, I've answered this question myself personally. So let's just talk about it. So I have never heard that boycotting, uh, that some people think it's non-Christ-like. I've never heard that before. Right. And it seems like a strange question to me. A few times I've heard it, I've always been like, what are you talking about? Right. Seems weird. But I have heard people make this uh, statement. I even went and looked for some articles. So I found one here. This is from the Gospel Coalition back in 2012. Should Christians boycott boycotting? <laughs> and then um, here's another one that was written, and this is five reasons Christians shouldn't boycott. So, you know, like the homelessness thing, you know, I have my views on it, but I'd like to know your guys' thoughts um, just in case I'm wrong on this. But, you know, my thoughts are that this is kind of stupid. Of but course we should boycott. Kind of go along with what we just talked about a little bit. Like, isn't that in a sense kind of boycotting if you don't want to go to a certain restaurant because there's a homelessness crisis in that area and you don't want to... Yeah. I don't know. Like, if they're Quit not boycotting the stand. homeless encampments. Go walk through them and step on a hypodermic needle. I don't want to. Well, you're the problem then. But I don't know. Maybe that's a bad example, but... I think that's... Christians should boycott. I mean, personally. Well, definitely. And I think I we should be... The argu... I don't know what the argument would be. Well, uh... we're going to read those. We're going to look at these five different reasons really quickly, but... Yeah, because I didn't read um, them yet. Yeah. I think we should be boycotting far more than we do. The one that jumped to my mind immediately was, we should be boycotting the Democrat and Republican Party until they can give us a worthwhile politician. This isn't about politics. Um, so let's look at these five reasons really quick. Okay. Um, the first one, do you want to read that, honey? Boycotts give us a false sense of accomplishment. That's number one. Number two says boycotts can take our eyes off the prize. Number three, honey. Boycotts are trusting in the wrong kind of power. Yep. Hmm. And then uh, number four is boycotts keep the fight going. <laughs> number five says boycotts try to change hearts through force. Okay. Uh, not sure I agree with much of those points there, but um, those are at least care. five arguments why we shouldn't. Uh, again, I don't agree with I them, but them there explained. are arguments. So I think boycotts are effective. And I think they've proven to be effective in recent times. You know, I don't know. I've heard people talk about it, so I'm sure you guys have as well. But how sort of tame overall this Pride Month was yeah. compared to like the right. last couple of years. This year was relatively mild. And, you know, there could have been a lot of reasons. But one of those could have been the boycott of places like Target last year mm -hmm. might have actually proved to be a success. And... We talk about it a lot on this show that, you know, this nation says it's 65% Christian. And if that's true and Christians use their money to have influence, you know, we could be steering the ship in this nation. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why we don't, but we certainly don't. Um, now, we can't boycott everything all the time, of course, but we can be smart about it like we were with Target, you know, the Bud Light boycott was super effective, you know, but I'm fully in favor of this. And again, I wish that we would do it more, you know, like Disney, all Christians should be boycotting Disney. Oh, maybe not gosh. forever, but if all yeah. the Christians in this nation stop spending money on Disney or watching Disney, 
for like six months to a year, that company would have to change. They would have to because if 65% of this nation just never gave them another cent, they would have to make a dramatic change, you know. But I feel like we hear this idea because one of the points this guy brought up was um, we're trusting in the wrong kind of power. And I feel like you hear this a lot, you know, the whole uh, just leave it up to God, you know, let God take care of it or something like that. But like, how do we suppose God is going to take care of things? Okay, I'm just reading what that they say after that boycotts are trusting in the wrong kind of power. It says, when we boycott, we are stepping outside of the way God has chosen to work through the church. In a boycott, there's no grace, no love, no forgiveness demonstrated, only raw political, economic, and social power. Yeah, well, God gave us, um, you know, we're here. We, a we can, brain? Like, yeah. Show target That's grace just, and put your kid in that, you know, LGBTQ pride flag. These are the same people that would say, got to keep your kids in the public school system. And they're evangelizing just, there. And they would just be like, yeah, they would say that. We're just going to pray for them. We're just going to pray for them. Don't, yeah. Don't, um, you know, confront. Don't confront people. But like, I think this is how God often works. You know, he's working through people acting and doing um, what he would want them to do. This is how God, gosh, have you read the Old Testament? God raises up um, armies to go against, you know, others, other cities. And he didn't raise up Joshua to go and show grace to the people in Canaan. (laughs) Like, it's def, he's definitely like about politics too. (laughs) Right. And I think God works most often through his people. And again, if this church in this nation actually wanted to start making changes for the positive, which again, I don't like the label of Christian nationalism. I like the the label of like putting people that love God and want to do what's right in his eyes in charge. You know, if we actually desired to do that, we could see this nation change to the positive potentially. And Boycotting is just one of those avenues, right? Stop spending your money and giving your money and influence to godless people who hate you. I don't see how that's a problem. I don't know. Who wrote this article? Like someone from know. Matt it's Chandler's just, uh, church? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. It's just like a random website that I found. But, um, you know, it's not like the New York Times or anything. But just they made some points. So uh, what do you guys think, right? We certainly think boycotting is... First off, effective, and secondly, I think it's right. I mean, it's a nonviolent you, way to make a point. Like it's very it's non-violent, clever, which is very important. <laughs> but it's even just like I'm telling you to stop giving your money to Disney. Like, is that wrong? If I just went to my friends, like, listen, man, they're trying to kind of groom your kids. It's not good. You shouldn't support them. Is that fine? But then if I get on a microphone and tell a hundred people to stop giving their money, that becomes wrong now. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, You know, but what do you guys think? Is boycotting unchrist? Like, we know it's effective, but is it unchrist like It it just seems dumb to ask to me because I think these five reasons are ridiculous. Like, who really believes that? Sure. Come on. Like, this seems like a joke to me. Sure. But I also would have said it seems really stupid for a faith based artist to bring Haley Welch on stage and get a. Yeah, there. Here we are. These are the same people. This person was a a pro mask person. They were loving their neighbor by wearing their mask. I guarantee it. How could they not? (laughs) Um, So I would love to know what you guys think. Because again, you know, we only know what we know, we think what we think. Um, but I'm open to correction. I feel pretty good about boycotting, but let me know where I'm wrong or just cement me in my opinions. I am so motivated now to go and research more. I just, I want to boycott more places now. Yes. I want to boycott the coffee shop we went to that creeped us out. Um, oh, but anyways, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have any final thoughts here on boycotting or just anything that we've talked about in general today? Yeah, I just, yes, 
Nikki's fired up now about boycotting. Share, yeah, share all the the places you boycott and why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what we want to know. Learn. Don't we tell won't us go where... anywhere anymore because everybody, every business supports something we don't agree with. <laughs> don't tell us whether we're right or wrong in boycotting. Tell us we're right and then give us other companies to boycott. <laughs> That's what we really want. We just want to stop spending money. Yes, please. It'll be um, helpful for us. But, yeah. Let us know if we're wrong. We're open to What did we boycott before? Netflix. That's right. We still are boycotting Netflix. We still are boycotting Netflix. Yep. Um, ever since they came out with, what was it, Cuties? Yeah. Yep, haven't gotten back on board with that. So... Mm-hmm.